Uh, so in this video, we are going to go through the process of uh, making a credit sale in order. So to do that, you go on sales. Then here it's showing you the list of other sales orders that we have done or other sales invoices that we have done. So you click on create here and then you enter the new customer. So let's say our new customer is called, uh, let's say we are invoicing SPA. SPA Gueru. Let's say SPA Gueru is our customer there. So Spark Gueru is within the system. So the system is prompting me to create so I can click on create to automatically create the spa as the customer. If I click on create and edit, it will give me the allowance to put more details like phone number for the supplier address and etc. etc. So in this case, I just want the name. I don't want the, to keep other records like addresses. However, you can always modify it in the future. But let me just click on spa and then expiration date. I can just click. You need to put today's date. And then we come here under products. We enter the products that we are billing. I enter the end of the quantities. I enter five uh, unit price. If you want it to remain the same, you can just remain the same. Let me say I want to change it to eight dollars. Then you click on eight eight products. We enter another product, Mars. I click on Mars. I enter quantity for Mars. Let's say my quantity is four. Right. So my total is for this bill is sixty dollars. Then I can click on confirm the confirm the order. After clicking on confirm, I can click on here on delivery. Click there on delivery. Then after clicking on delivery, you need to click on validate. There you click on apply. Uh, so after I've applied, uh, my order has been set. And then you need to come here. You click on that. Then you click on create invoice. Here there is regular invoice, a down payment. So down payment, we are assuming that there is a small payment that the customer had made. So let's say there is no payment that had been made. So you leave it there, it's regular invoice. Then you click on create invoice. After clicking on create invoice, you can click on print uh, to print this one. So it's now searching for the printer, that's why it's taking a little bit long. So this is our sales order for our customer. So we can print this, we can print this order. Uh, I can come back here. Uh, if you go to orders in orders here, you can see it's showing the spa query is fully invoiced. So basically that's how we raise our invoices, uh, our credit invoices for our customer. So in the next video, we are going to do how to receive payment from credit invoices.